Ian Ferrara, Angel of Death in the house. From our friends from Venture Studios, here in Toy Quest 101 Unboxed. Good thing from this company is that all the boxes come not with tape but with straps. You can see here the straps says Avengers Studios, so they have a good start. It has a low edition of 150. Now uh, this one is number 67, so it's a good number. So let's talk about the base. The base here it looks like it's a portal to hell, and right now you can see the different tonalities of the wood the hands are the wood so they're going to be reaching out to souls these are souls in lamentation you see how they rip out the flesh the pale flesh from the body and this is how he finishes it goes up so you can see really the textures of the base Stone looks like stone, wood looks like wood. So that means the paint job of the textures differentiating it looks very good. The vase is a classic base in the bottom. So you can see it can be a standalone or you can have it with other figures that, that have this type of vase. Here you can see it has a good color of the skin and with the armor, the yellow of the armor looks very good because it makes difference. In this part here, especially this part, you can see how the armor is delicately done in the upper part. And here in the back, it looks like a spine but it's all part of the armor. Armor with the flesh. So there you can see the body. It's a good female body, not too muscular and sexy at the same time. There's another part to the base that is like a, like an arm, a wooden arm. It goes right here. Now let's start the assembly. This part right here is very delicate, as you can see. But it does the part. It's fully sculpted and it's like a type of PVC.
The statue has two portraits. We're gonna use this one first, the redhead. Here you can see the flesh and has a good color. I mean, and look at the hair strands. The artist and the sculptor of this studio and his piece is this called Franco Calissimo. And he did an incredible job. I mean, the air, the eyes are blacked out. It's not like the typical eyes that we see. And the sculpture right now, I haven't put on the wings. So you can really appreciate the sculpture of the body and of the portrait. You can really enjoy here the anatomy of the sculpture. I mean, Franco Calismo did a great job. I mean, this is incredible for real. Pictures don't give it justice until you see it in true life. So now that you enjoyed the statue, let me put on the wings. The wings, they're put in the back part of the statue in some hooks that it has. It's very important that when you put it on, uh, put it on right to the end, to the fill the hole, uh, so it can be secure with that and the portrait. Uh, maybe you can see it, but these, these wings were not digitally sculpted. They were done by hand. Uh, so each feather and each detail of the wing is done old school, as they say, old school sculpting. The whole statue is digital minus the wings. Here you can see how big <clears throat> is the wingspan and how deep he goes in the statue. So when you're gonna display it, you need space. But trust me, it's worth it. Uh, the way the wings are, they're done in a sturdy PVC, not polyton, uh, for the weight and for shipping purposes to avoid breakage but they look beautiful and majestic. I mean, who doesn't like a redhead in the house? It looks incredible. Now we're gonna go and put on a different portrait and a uh, sobat arm.
Here's the other portrait with the magnetic horns. You can see it's totally different uh, from the redhead portrait. It denotes a little bit more action. She's screaming there with white hair. And the eyes, man, the eyes, they look incredible. So now let's put the arm. Here you can see she's like reaching out, right? So now let's change it. Here's the alternate arm, the switch out with the sword. And give me a second, let me move it this way. So you can see uh, the sculpting on the sword. You can see the handle, the hilt, as I say, of the sword. And look at the colors, the colors of the gold and the white hair and the skin tone and the eyes and the black wings they really they really pop they really are different there are different colors and it's make this statue speaks i mean franco calissimo did a great job on this and thank you todd our sponsor of the channel because he made this come true so now let's enjoy the statue.
Thanks to our friends of Revenger Studios, Todd Johnson, our sponsor from Spec Fiction, and the incredible sculpt of Franco Calissimo. This is an incredible piece. I mean, you can have it as a standalone, or you can pair up with the old satchel pieces of Court of the Dead. But I think uh, as a standalone, everybody should have this. I mean, this is a piece that is still left in spec fiction, so hurry up so you can get your piece. Uh, this is not gonna be the only statue from Venture Studios. Uh, right now, uh, Todd Johnson and Franco Calissimo are speaking to see which other character will pair to us, to her. They're thinking of a Dracula, so let's see what happens there. But right now, remember this name, Vera, the Angel of Death. This is going to be a statue. This is going to be a grail in your collection. So thank you. Remember to like and subscribe to Tokest 101 Unboxed. See you soon.